friend, you can be victorious. You should, you must be victorious because you do know the end of the story. You have already been blessed in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing. You have the power to say yes to grace and no to ungodliness. You understand God's purpose behind afflictions and you realize that they are stretching your soul's capacity for eternal worship, service, and joy. So do not lose heart. Tomorrow morning when you wake up and your head is on the pillow and your eyes are still closed and you're rehearsing the day's appointments and already feeling too weary to wake up and face the challenges, I want you to join me in desperately needing Jesus in choosing to live out a robust and a rigorous, lively, lived out preference daily for him. Choose him tomorrow morning. Need him desperately. So do not lose heart, as it says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, for outwardly you and I may be wasting away, but inwardly we're being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs the inconveniences of cancer and chronic pain and quadriplegia, 46 years of it. Oh, what a glorious day that will be. So join me in fixing your eyes, not on what is seen, but what is unseen. For what is seen is only temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it afar, for the Father wakes over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there. Sing it with me. In the sweet by and by, we shall Sing the Amen. Amen.